Hello everyone, my name is Mauricio Rodriguez and I'm a member of Team 2 for EML 4001 Project 2. My team members are Robert DeSantis, John Valdez, and today we will be presenting our Gearbox 2 design. We'll be going over all the aspects of design from background and concept to the final design. First, I'll be going over the specification given to us for, des for design. The requirements are 8.5 horsepower must be transmitted, the speed must reduce from 1620 RPMs to 90 RPMs, the input and output rotation must be in the same direction and perpendicular to each other. Um, this must be used for medium and to low precision applications and be able to experience moderate shock, humidities up to 90 to, and from 90 to 95 percent and be able to withstand temperatures varying between room and plus or minus 50 Fahrenheit. It also must be cost effective. With our gearbox we aim to target applications more in the industry business. Conveyor belts are an excellent example because our gears can help regulate and maintain the speed needed as objects are passed along. We believe our gearbox will be able to be used in business such as printing, packaging, and machining. In the survey of our literature, we looked over documents that help us understand the background information on gearboxes and how they reduce speed. Gear reduction of speed or torque depends on the different sizes of the gears. What is a gearbox? A gearbox is a device that contains a configuration of gears of different types in order to change the output speed or torque of a motor. There are four types of gears typically used in a gearbox. Bevel, spur, helical, and worm. We had three different designs we first considered. A single worm gear reduction, a bevel gear reduction with a spur gear, and a bevel gear reduction with a two helical gear sets. The worm gear set would have been the simplest and most compact design because worm gears are able to achieve large gear reductions with a single gear set. The problem with the worm gear was that the Boston gear catalog did not have a strong enough gear set for our application. The bevel and helical combination, as well as the bevel and the spur gears are set are similar in size, but the helical gears require two smaller sets of gears compared to one set for the spur gears. For the final design, we chose a bevel gear set with, uh, connected to a spur gear set via a shaft from the bevel gear to the pinion of the spur gear. The reason we chose this design over the helical design was because we would have to use two reduction gear sets for the helical gears compared to one gear for the spur gears. Also, this would result in higher costs for the, spur, for the helical gears. Also, the helical gears provided in the Boston gear catalog would not have been strong enough to handle the stress in our gearbox in the second reduction. For the cost analysis, the cost of our materials for the gearbox was just under $1,000. It seems like a lot for a relatively small gearbox, but with the redux reliable reduction gearboxes usually tend to, with these parameters, tend to cost this much. The ma majority of our cost is from the gear sets. We could have used a cheaper gear set to reduce total cost, but we wanted a substantial factor of safety for our gears, so we chose ones that would not fail. Depending on the volume of these gearboxes that are made, in the bulk buying for parts could substantially reduce our cost. This is our two bevel gear designs that we came up with. A 15 tooth bevel pinion with a diameter of 5 and made out of grade 1 steel. This is connected to a pin of 45 tooth gear construction of cast iron. This gave us an initial reduction of 3 to 1, which will decrease the input revolution per minute from 1620 to 90. The bevel gear is connected to a 7 inch shaft that is connected to the spur pinion. Bevel pinion is connected to the, beer, the bevel gear. These are our two designs for our spur gears. The spur gear we use are a 14 tooth pinion spur gear with a diameter of 1.25. An, an 84 tooth straight spur gear with both having a diameter pitch of 6. The gear resulted in a 3 to 1 ratio. The pinion gear is connected to the spur gear in a 7 inch shaft. These are ball bearing and our shaft design. We use four instrumental ball bearing made out of steel. Located at the end of each of the shaft connected to the gears. The shaft we use a 7 inch shaft to connect the spur pinion and the bevel gear. A 4 inch shaft was connected to the spur gear which leads to the outside gearbox housing. Another 4 inch shaft was connected to the bevel pinion with other and leading outside the gearbox. Design overall. Our final Final reduction to an 18 to 1 with two gear set combination bring our initial rotation speed from 1620 to 90 RPMs that were required. Both inputs and output gears were turned into a counterclockwise direction to help keep the rotation in the same direction. Our conclusion, we were able to gain a better understanding how gears work together and how to identify gears that work when given a specific to follow. There are many factors to consideration. What the design is going to be made out of 
the material and the purpose of your gear.